Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Jay. And this is I, I Dare You to play. play Pokemon Blue version. Pokemon! I already caught one. Check it out. I got me a Pokemon. Pretty sure that's Captain America. Poke Captain America, not a Pokemon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I caught a bunch of stuff. Hold on. Is this Pokemon? That's happily divorced bear. That is happily divorced bear. Uh, is this a Pokemon? Right here. I got to me a Pokemon. He's scary and everything. He gets you. No, I don't think that is. I don't understand this game at all. This is a Pokemon. It is not a Pokemon. That is Ryan Reynolds. Okay, that one time it was Ryan Reynolds. But not this time. I challenge your Pokemon to a fight. Rawr! No? I don't understand this game. Welcome to episode 14 yeah, yeah. of I Dare You to Play Fucking Pokemon. Alone in the Dark. Okay. Which I believe is a different game. Of course it is. I gotta remember how to do the controls again because I'm not super good at those. These controls make no damn sense! Roaming around in the dark because we can't find sure Flash or whatever it is. No, no. I thought AS was the controls. I thought it was too. Well, they don't do shit. Spacebar doesn't do shit. Enter doesn't do shit. Nothing does shit. Did you reset? Fuck, man, I don't know. Just cut that out. Why can't I run away? Um, because you hit fight. Fuck! <laughs> Mother fucker. Shut the fuck up. Now you know. Now you know what it's like. Oh, god damn this game. I can't believe I can't carry a fucking torch. I got a goddamn dragon that breathes fire. I can't get a burst. Nope. I Just call bullshit. You, that's why. I couldn't get away, huh? Wow, it's like underfail again. You took a step. You must fight this thing. Yep. Or then not fight this thing, because Jay wouldn't let me fight the things. I draw Pokemon when I'm home. And I can't run from these fuckers, nope. right? Hey, Pokemaniac, you got, a, like, a match or something? It'd be pretty cool if you did. It's great, because in the anime, they actually will totally do that shit, too. They'll be like, oh, I have a Charmander. That would make sense. Yeah, and then everybody watching is just like, well, fuck you and your ability to do anything you want. It's disabled. You can't do that. Hmm. 
At least they only had one Pokemon. Yeah, that's because there's like one million people in here. Oh, and it's gonna be a fucking maze too, right? Yep. I don't know if they come here, but I will fight you. <clears throat> well, at least you have dark vision, bitch. Yeah, yeah, words and things. Yeah, everybody's paralyzed. Let's do that. Fuckers, when we're playing D and D, I got one hit point left. I can totally run and jump and stab that guy. Fine guy grew to level 19 and shit. Yay! And then if they can't, I can just use my plus 500 bluff and be like, "Listen." See what happened was you can get up and you will win, you fucking guard. You fucking get up. <laughs> Now that would be interesting. We should look into whether or not that's a real feat that exists. <laughs> Could just convince people to live. <laughs> well, no, just it'd be like an inspirational speech, right? Like I'm, speech. they get a plus two on their attack roll if I give them an inspirational. Well, I'll just you can it. do it, right? Like it. Just it, it, do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. <laughs> yesterday you said tomorrow. <laughs> so just do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> Oh my god. Why have I memorized that? God. Okay. You see what I'm saying though? Your bluff is so high. Yeah. I feel really motivated and inspired. Yeah, even though I'm negative 5 HP. <laughs> I can do this. Fuck yeah. Get up. It'd be like a Rocky movie. Get up. <laughs> or any anime ever. <laughs> right. I feel inspired. I was inspired by this thing that happened in my dark past. I'm gonna get up despite being half dead and really shouldn't and 15 broken bones and fucking win anyway. That's basically the plot of any anime, right? Yep. That's, I mean, well, any action-based anime. Rip. It's super, that's a, that's like a sauteed fucking mushroom right there. Charmander to Charmander tears probably seems bad. Let's do the dugs. Bye, bitch. You know, given the time frame, I feel like it's important to mention right now that um, in Season 3, our hope was to have two computers and to set up two different webcams so that in yeah. Season 3 of the show, you could actually watch our faces as we play. Yeah. But we are not uh, currently financially able to do so. Please donate to our Patreon and give us money so we can do Make the show more interesting. If you want to see Jay's face go, what the fuck? Uh, donate. <laughs> uh, don't have to be Patreon. You can also find us on uh, Twitch. Twitch. You know, you can subscribe to my channel there. Uh, we are affiliated, so we get, get that money as well. I'll do stuff on Twitch someday. Damn 
motherfucker. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with, with your best, best shot. shot. Fire away. Okay. Anyway. That was the first song reference we made in about five months. That's because they all have music now. Have music now. God damn it. about um before we started recording about how like my my parents like unknowingly disagree on how I should do certain things. And like for context, I well actually you probably don't need the context because if you seem to have Doki Literature Club, you probably already know. My parents are divorced. They've been divorced for a long time, so like it's not really new. Um but like like an example is like I used to eat really slow. And so, like, over time, I just kind of learned... Like, that. really slow. No, like, really slow. It was a problem. Like an hour and a half yeah, to I, eat a sandwich. I used to be, like, that one kid that just, like, d didn't eat or, like, took 500 years to eat. Um, and so, like, I don't know. Like, once I dropped that, I was just like, okay, I'm just eating now. Right? And then if I eat slow, it's because I'm, I'm not really hungry. You know what I mean? Like, normal people... I guess. And, um, like, I don't know. And it, it was weird because, you know, my dad was the one who was just like, oh, you're eating too slow. Like, you need to eat faster. Like, why are you eating so slow? And so now I just eat, you know, I just eat faster, I guess. And At a nor semi-normal pace, I would call it. Yeah, and, and now my mom is like, why do you eat so fast? You're like inhaling it whole. How do you eat so fast? And I'm like, what the fuck? Which I think you're still slow, just so you know. Yeah, like, what do you... I don't know how slow they <laughs> eat at your house, but it's your mom's house. <laughs> Clearly dinner is like a three-hour affair. I did must... I don't know. Uh, yeah, um... I don't know. See, now maybe it's because I just automatically eat faster in that house so that I don't have to socialize. Because... Dinner over there is like a family dinner. Everybody, you know, sits around at the table, and I'm just like, fuck that. So I eat in like five minutes and then leave. I probably actually do inhale it whole. Just now, and I here, it's it, it's just me and Jay, so it's not like a... Right, and we're like... Maybe Grammy's here sometimes. Yeah. Pinky I, grew to I, level 23. That's a problem with my mom's side of the family. <laughs> But yeah, no, I I probably do eat faster now that I think about it at my mom and grandma's house because I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, food I mouth, only so have two potions left. I have to talk. Man, this is not gonna go uh, well. Well, I guess you'll be fucked. I should probably not even use them yet because it'll it'll you can't overuse. Use them on um, or fun guy anyway. No, I'm not like that's what I mean. These two guys, it'll be a waste, right? Mm -hmm. How do I get out of this? Uh, it's X. System. Whatever that means. Just like underfail. Look at the ladder. The one that you were complaining about for 500 years. Yep. What the ZXC? I don't like that. Uh, I don't like any of it, actually. I'm starting to really. Shut up. I took see if you want to see my face, my eyes roll all the way back in my head. No, no. So that's everyone's reaction to every cave in Pokemon ever. Every cave in Pokemon is like this. Everyone fucking hates caves for this exact reason. Fuck caves. Huh? Maybe I'm lost in here. You and me both. You and me both. Okay, anytime. Ember should light things up. Nope. I killed him with half of his hit points the first time I used Ember, and then it's like, no, you got like three. That's because the that other on is probably a different level. No, I meant on the same one just now. Oh. 
Smog grew to level 21 and shit. He's about to use Onyx again. I still want to use Smog, so piss off. You killed half his hit points! It wasn't very effective. That was less effective. Bye, Fajita! I like that there's absolutely no way to revive them except at a Pokestop. No, no, you can use a revive, you just can't buy them yet. Of course not. <laughs> you haven't unlocked it yet, you're not cool enough. Whatever. Of course, he had to hit me hard enough to fucking drop me 30 points all at once so that I couldn't use a potion, right? Yeah. That's super helpful. Hey, way to miss! Fucking pinky. Nope, that's not correct. It almost hurt him a little. Good riddance. The Cave of Blunders. <laughs> Damn it! You need to show me some respect. I'm sure it's a giant fucking maze too with multiple ladders, or is there really only one way to go and I'm just lucking into it? That's really the question here. Um, oh no, there's definitely multiple. Oh, that's you fucking may or may fantastic. You not be going the right way. Who I actually literally don't know. Me neither. I never thought to memorize this cave. Actually, oh no, that was a different cave. My bad. I did memorize a cave once because I just kept fucking going the wrong way. But that was a different cave. Not the cave of blunders? Nope. It's a different cave that you'll see in the next Pokemon game. Really I might need a Pokey break after this one. Pokey. Oh, fuck no. I'm not making you play two Pokemon games in a row. This is gonna take about a year for you to finish. Jesus fucking Christ. I know. It's starting to get on my nerves, I'm too. i like five different games to play between these. What the fuck is that thing? So it's like the same amount of time. No PP left. You have no PP left. Isn't that like a problem you struggle with on the daily? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, I left my dick at home. That's a real joke. I've probably mentioned it on the, on here before at some point. But like, um... Uh, so, if you're new, uh, hi, I'm trans. Um, and I was like... Assigned female at birth, but who knew the doctor was No, wrong. he's dead! Because critical hit! The doctor was wrong. Uh, and so I'm like a guy, basically. <laughs> they both fainted at the same time. Right. But you still have more Pokemon left over, so that's why you win. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So there's... 
There's this joke where we leave our Packers at home, right? And it's... A Packer is a... It's basically a prosthetic penis. Yeah, it's a prosthetic it's penis. basically what it is. It even allows you to pee standing up. It's very interesting, actually. And certain types do. Some don't. But most do. The more expensive ones do. God damn it. Packers and twigs as trail markers. Fuck you. Can you can see them in here. I'm almost out of Pokemon. There's a... There's a pretty 50-50 chance now that I'm just gonna fucking die in here. Oh, yeah, I'm certain you will. <laughs> Nobody ever makes it through here their first time through. On their first try. This is able. But anyway, there is a bunch of jokes about, like, damn it, I don't like I don't actually wear mine very much. Super weird. Oh my god, you got two more, huh? Pidgey, pidgey, potato. It's Potato Junior. I can't believe that's literally... Wait. Is that actually Roger's son's name, or did the narrator just call him Roger Jr.? Just cuz. Or is his name actually Roger Jr.? <laughs> Which I wouldn't be I don't surprised know. if he was named after Roger. Because that's definitely I something mean, Roger would do. Assuming Roger even had a say. Yeah, true. We don't really know how this kid was conceived. Could be like a Joker thing. That kid's mom could be crazy and just thinks Roger Wilco's the dad. Oh, spoiler alert! Sorry. Yep, I'm. Um, you probably just saw a bright flashing neon spoiler alert about five seconds ago. <laughs> I mean, this one does come out a week after. That's somewhat adequate time to watch it, but it's me. So, since you just threw up the spoiler alert. Do you want to talk about the show? Oh my god. Wait. Prepare yourselves for Danny and Jay's spoilerific Joker review. What'd you think? Um, I don't know. Uh, it was good. It's, it's one of the, definitely one of the better renditions of Joker I've ever seen. I really liked this one. And the acting was really good too. Now you've not actually read... The graphic novel of I mine, haven't right? Seen it. Uh, I haven't read it. So there's a graphic novel out there called um, Yep, Arkham Asylum. That's it. And it's one of my personal favorites. And if you played Batman Arkham the video game, you may remember the spirals that you found that talked about Amadeus Arkham. Those are straight out of this um, this particular graphic novel. Um it is one of my favorites. The artwork in it is really good. The story is really gritty. But it very much has like a really, really sadistic Joker in it. Like he's a homicidal maniac. Right? He's not just crazy. He's not like the anarchist thing. He doesn't have like some sort of... Over he's just fucking crazy, right? And um, I really enjoyed how this movie brought that out. Like... Uh, $42! That, that was lame as fuck. Um, so, I mean, that was one of the things I really enjoyed about it. It's not, um, if you're listening anyway and you still haven't seen it, um, it doesn't start as fast as you think it should. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot more fast-paced. It's fast very paced. slow. It's very much an origin story and not Joker but it, being Joker. But it's a slow origin story, right? I mean, it's they... It's a slow burn. It is a slow burn. The payoff's pretty good. Um, the final scene with Joker was pretty, pretty damn good. And it really ends with Joker becoming Joker. Like, Joker does... You only get to see Joker in about the last 10, 15 minutes of the movie, right? Yeah. I mean... God damn it, there's a dead end. What a waste. 
So, I mean, I, I really enjoyed that part of it. I, I liked how they they played with a lot of the fan theories that are out there. Um, there there's been, you know, there's been some long-standing theories and things like that, and they kind of toy with those without ever actually saying, like, yeah, this is a thing. Right. Um, so I thought it was really well done. I think if you're a fan of Joker from the comics or even from the animated series... You're gonna be happy. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy the movie. I mean, it was being completely spoiled anyway. I also really like the um, the concept of the the condition. Oh yeah, yeah. So he has a condition where he just like he laughs. He laughs he uncontrolled. God damn it! I was like thirty some points, man. <laughs> it's like if you get under half, you're toast. It's like, it's like uncontrollable laughter, though, like, in a situation where you're not, like, wouldn't normally laugh. Yeah, yeah, so he, he's, like, uncomfortable, and then he starts laughing, and it's, it's because of brain damage, right? Right. Which, uh, I, again, I thought was really, really good, because they, they bring it out in a way that, it, you know, he was abused as a child, and, yeah. and then it was not his father or his parents or an uncle. It was, you know, his mother's boyfriend. Yeah. You know, tied him to a fucking radiator and gave him head trauma and just, like, beat the fuck out of everybody. and um, Which is, I think, a lot of people can relate to that in today's times, right? I mean, that's... Yeah. With the split family. That's, that is another thing about it. Like, even though it's set in, like, the past, it's very, like... A very non-specific past, but it, yeah, it's very relevant. It's, it is very relevant and sadly quite relatable, like, um, as far as, like, today... Wait, it's, it's, a lot of people, I think, might be pissed off at the Thomas Wayne thing, too, because Thomas Wayne was supposed to be this great man, and, you know, he was a pillar of the community. Right. But what you have to remember is you're seeing Thomas Wayne from the perspective... From the perspective, ...perspective yes. of Joker. So Joker, you know, he, he's fucking nuts, right? Like, and his mom's crazy, and, you know, he, he assaulted Bruce in the movie, right? So, I mean, of course Thomas Wayne is a fucking dick to Joker, right? right. Like... Well, this will be a horrible fucking slugfest. Uh, try D. Oh, fuck, never mind. I'm dead! That's it! I'm out of the cave. Is that his last Pokemon, too? Yep. Fuck. Whoops, gotta start over. Are all my Pokemon yeah, automatically they're healed? Automatically healed, yeah. Oh, fuck. So. We never found a fucking Pokemon nope. that can use the light, which I swear Most to God. people never do. I would just name him Carol Ann. Go toward the light, Carol Ann. But now I don't have to fight all those fuckers again, right? Right. The fucking fuckers. Just figure out how the fuck you're supposed to get back. And deal with all those. Fuck you, Zubat. <clears throat> no one loves you. But anyway, it was a really good movie. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. I'll probably... And I'm not a fan of DC movies because they tend to DC fuck everything up. Um, yeah, they, they tend to screw everything up. They're not very good at doing their jobs. Um, I was never a big DC fan of comics, though, to be honest. Like, I could not fucking get into it. It was too generic, I guess. I mean, I don't know, man. Like... I think the reason why Batman is one of the best DC properties is because he's at least got like a... a the emotional trauma. Right, like he... Story. Well, I mean, there's yeah. there's a there's a light versus dark darkness there, right? Like, yeah. Superman's just fucking Superman. And I know yeah. I'm going to get a lot of hate mail now. Like, fucking Superman. Dark Superman. Whatever, man. Okay. Like, I often joke, you know, DC has that whole God's Among Us thing, hey, and it's doing, literal. It's very we, literal. We would be doing good just to get hate mail about Superman rather than all the other fucking shit we would said on here. <laughs> Dude. Piss off. Oh, 
But I mean, so Joker is one of my personal favorites. I'd like to see Riddler done properly on screen someday. And I've heard rumors that the new Batman film with the uh, sparkling gay fuckface, whatever his name is. Which one? The vampire dude. Pattinson is going to be the new Batman. Pattinson? Yeah, the fucking sparkly vampire guy. Whatever the fucking name of the bit sparkly vampire movies were. Wait, are you talking about um, Twilight? Yeah, the oh, guy from Twilight well, is gonna, gonna be, be the bad. new. It's is, gonna be bad. Well, I mean, a lot of people are excited about it, and I don't know, man. We'll see what they come up with, I guess, for storyline, because whatever. But. He's going to be the new Batman. And the rumor is is that they're going to finally do a Riddler. God damn it. Fucking run away. No. How do you not you can't escape? How is that even a thing? Cuz sometimes Pokémon says, "No, fuck you. You're not leaving." It's like people in real life. So, I mean, I don't know, man. That's gonna be the new Batman. Although we won't have Batfleck anymore, so that's a good thing. I don't really like Batfleck either. I mean, can he actually do worse than Val Kilmer as Batman? Oh. Can you beat my power? Alright, so we made it to a new place because I ran into a guy. That was a critical hit, huh? That was fucking lame as shit. That's what yeah, that was. Really back oh, right. What? I remember why. I don't think fire type exists in this version. Normally it would be super effective. But in Gen 1, it's not. Fire type is a thing, yeah. He may not attack, huh? Seems like he fucking did, though. May not. Theoretically. Possibly. That's fucking lame as fuck. This is gonna take forever. Against Earth? Rock type. So They're both it. rock types! No, Doug's is ground type. Doug's well, is ground type, Judy's rock type. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this whole rock versus ground is bullshit. <laughs> Absolute goddamn bullshit. <laughs> Who the fuck came up with this shit? Japan. Oh, rocks and, and ground are different. The fuck? Ground is super effective against rock. Why? <laughs> that makes know. no goddamn sense whatsoever. I know it doesn't, but that's just how it fucking is. What the fuck? <laughs> Has anybody actually tried to plot this out? Because I feel like that's going to look like a fucking... One of those old kaleidoscope things where you put the pencil in the little gear and it makes a weird fucking design. Oh, this is how all the Pokemon, you know, defeat each other. God damn it. Look, another Geodude. Wow.
It is like super effective. Ground beats rock yep. somehow. Try to explain that one to your friends when next time you play rock, paper, scissors. I think when they were thinking of ground type, I think they thought more of like mud rather than actual like dirt. I think, like based off of what I know, I think that's more of what they were thinking. Fuck if I know. So like slightly more water based, I guess. I don't know. I do agree that it's actually really weird, but that's just how it is, so... I mean, I was gonna try to, like, plot it out, figure out what types beat what types, but I don't think... I don't think the game actually fucking tells you! Oh no, you just figure it out yourself. That's, that's part of it. You just figure out, like, oh, duh, like, you, you learn over God time. God damn it. Through experience. Like, I could tell you what's effective against what. Like, right now, that's a good type matchup right there. You use Ember, it'll fucking wreck that thing. Well, I mean, that one at least makes sense. Burn the flower. And somehow it doesn't die, though. Damn it! Motherfucker! Why does it default to yes, change out your Pokemon? And then it takes so long that you're just pushing the button blindly. MASH BUTTON! MASH BUTTON! Oh my god! Are you done talking yet? Fuck. At least I don't have to dodge fucking flowers or something as part of the fighting. <laughs> I just have to wait for goddamn ever. Are you gonna kill him? Fuck. He hit me three times? Yeah, some attacks hit more than once. My last potion. Snore! <laughs> Fucking snore. Fucking snore. Double slap. Hit you three times. That sounds like a triple slap. Well, yes, but it's just meant to signify that it hits more than once. Is the point. That'd be multi slap. That sounds stupid, though. Okay. Have you <laughs> seen any other words in this game? Ever? Has fucking four? Yeah. Because fuck you, that's why. Nope. Why well, send it out so that's what you just gonna die? Go, Daniel, son, go.
<laughs> go, Pinky, go! Flawless victory! <laughs> Wow! I one-shotted all their fucking Pokemon. When the, when the NPC has more Pokemon, they're lower levels, so they're easier to beat. You took a step! Yep. That's a crime. You've committed a crime. Mother pus bucket. Anytime. God damn it, fucking dead end. Uh. No. No! No, Zubat, no! Somehow you just can never escape Zubats. Zubat said, fuck you. Yep. I took a step again. Fuck. No, don't go, Daniel Song. Cat and mouse, huh? Let's see how this goes. Bye, kitty. I don't know if you know this, but Pinky's kind of the shit. I did have to hit the fucking radish twice. What? Pinky missed? Bye, Pidgey. I like how everybody in this fucking cave is poor as fuck, too. I'm so shocked. It's a Geodude. Can't escape because fucking Zubats. Fuck is that? Rock, Rock tunnel. It's really in city, so I'm... Oh shit, is that the exit? Hallelujah! <laughs> Please save. <clears throat> and that Wait, concludes the this the episode. episode. Holy shit! I am victorious! I got through the Fucking cave on my it. second try without a light. Good for you. Oh. I did die for the second time though. We had to run the death counter up by a one. Lost a battle twice. I say that's pretty good for your first ever Pokemon playthrough. 
All right, kids, we'll see you next week. As always, there are links down below where you can find us on your favorite platform or just, you know, if you want to give us money and try to make this thing a little bit better than it is. Um, because all the money that we receive through the channel goes right back into the channel. It's all for equipment, make a better show for you, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Uh, same shit we say every week. And, yep. if you, and if this is your first episode, you then seriously, shit. You, need to start, <laughs> you need to start at least at the beginning of a game. Just pick one. Oh, and, yeah. And sorry if we spoiled Joker for you, but if you haven't seen it and you don't care about spoilers, that's why you kept watching. Well, I probably put up Go see it. It's actually worth seeing. Warning yeah. to mute it or something, or that way you can just watch us play while we talk about it. Right. I don't know. But anyway, yes, you should go see the movie if you haven't seen it already, because it's actually pretty good. Just be aware that it has... I enjoyed know, it, and I was... I was it's, not, it's, not a, it's not your standard comic book fucking movie. It's, 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 it is very dark. But it's more more of a psychological thing and less violence. There is violence. There there is violence. It, not but, as much like, as I thought, and yeah. not as sadistic as I thought it would it's be. It's not super violent. It's really more of a psychological thing. journey. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I did enjoy it, and I was a huge skeptic. I was not sure how it was going to end up. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with Joaquin Phoenix, although I thought that's weird casting. I don't know if he had the proper look, but he does. Mm -hmm. He pulls it out very well. Um, and I just wasn't sure about the whole telling of a Joker origin story. One of the things that makes Joker awesome is you don't know his origin, right? Like, but uh, but they did very well with it. It's mm -hmm. it's probably uh, it's one I'm gonna have to end up purchasing to rewatch. Yeah. Multiple times. Yeah, it's so. pretty good. So anyway, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, next week, Colonel's Request. Tune in for that, and then we'll be back here in two weeks. Yep. So, see ya. Bye.